Yo, what is good all my gamers out there? It's that one and only X Veteran and Beast and I know I've been absent for a while and I figured you know I gotta give you guys a treat for my absence and depending if you're a Battlefield fan or what type of Battlefield fan you are, you may consider this a treat or just more vomit in the mouth. But today I got some Battlefield Hardline beta gameplay going on here and you guys are watching some heist gameplay, one of the new game modes. In fact, both of the beta game modes are new game modes. So you got Blood Money and Heist, and I'm using the M16A3. Man, let me tell you, I'm so glad that this gun is back right here, because let's face it, that A4 was kind of trash. It was boo-boo, garbage, and Battlefield 4. It was just really no good at all. And I think a lot of that has to do with just like bad net code issues and stuff like that. I know they're trying to improve on that, but the burst fire weapons aren't really that good on battlefield 4 to begin with and you know the m16 has seen better days but i'm so glad that this gun is back now for you guys worrying is not overpowered like it was on um battlefield 3 i mean it's not as good but it still feels familiar and it still feels sexy in the hands i don't know how a gun feels sexy in the hands but you guys get what i'm saying it's a damn good gun anyways on to the actual video topic at hand which is my Battlefield Hardline beta impressions. Now, obviously, from where this is just a beta, my opinions can change when the full game comes out. Like, I can like the beta, and then the game actually sucks, or vice versa, stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, from a beta, you have to go by only what you have, which is one map and a few guns and gadgets. And that's pretty much it. You don't get a lot of stuff on a beta. But from what I've played so far, guys, I got to say that. I think this Battlefield Hardline, honestly, it shows promise. And I know a lot of you guys are going, but man, this is just a reskin Battlefield 4. It ain't nothing different about it, and it's just fucking garbage. But honestly, when you play it, you can tell that although it does still have some Battlefield 4, you know, functions, like there's still some stuff that's very similar to Battlefield 4, including how the game looks. But you can tell that when you play this game that you're kind of playing a different game, you know what I mean? It's not just Battlefield 4 with cops and robbers reskin, you know? I mean, it, as much as they may lick it, it's really not. So I wouldn't really worry too much if you were thinking about, oh man, this is just going to be a Battlefield DLC or something like that. You don't have to worry about that. But anyways, one of the first things I like about this beta as well, it runs right, which is obviously a good thing considering the fact that the, both the Battlefield 4 retail game and a better both ran like shit I mean, let's be real now i mean the game is running better but it could it could be a whole lot better let's be real here even your battlefield fan you have to admit like okay this game could run better i mean it is what it is about that that's kind of old news but this beta runs pretty well i won't lie to you and tell you that there's no net code issues that there's no lag and all that because well for one they're still using the frostbite engine <laughs> and two this is an online multiplayer. What can you do? There's a lot of factors that happen when you're playing online, you know, other people's connections and all sorts of shit happens. I mean, it takes a factor in online gameplay. So, I mean, it's almost impossible to say that there's no lag or nothing like that. But for the most part, it runs a lot. Um, it runs a lot better than Battlefield 4 beta did. I'll, can I say that it runs better than actual Battlefield 4 now that it had the net code patch and stuff i don't know because i haven't really played a lot of battlefield 4 here recently so it's hard to tell but it runs pretty good all these considering that what we were getting or i should say what kind of net code that we were getting from bf4 now other than that guys i would have to say i do like the whole um code I, I wouldn't say close quarters combat, but more infantry focused combat. Now, you still have vehicles. Obviously, you just see me got hit by a damn fucking police car. But you still have vehicles on here. And they can do some damage, but they're mostly used for transport. You do have some vehicles that have mounted turrets on top of them. And with every, well, most vehicles anyways, the passenger can get out and you can perform drive-bys, which is actually pretty damn cool. So now the passenger can actually do something besides just sit in there hoping that he doesn't die, <laughs> you know? But it, the vehicles, for the most part, I feel are just mainly used for transport. No, go, get from point A to point B, because obviously from where this is still a battlefield game, you still need some vehicles up in there, but they're not as... I would say as big as they were on Battlefield 4 and 3 and so on, where you have LAVs, armored tanks, anti-airs, and stuff like that. But then again, this is just this map, though. We only have one map on this beta, so there could be a whole lot more um, vehicles and different types of vehicles. But for the most part, they're just, it seems like they're mainly more used for transport, if anything. So this game really focuses on a lot of infantry combat, which I'm all for right there, because, I mean, I like 
in my first person shooters, I don't like a whole bunch of different factors getting me killed, like kill streaks and stuff. I like to just have my wits about me and well, my gut. I mean, obviously, I want a little bit more than that, but this game, you can tell just how this map is designed. There's a lot of like going inside buildings and stuff like that. So, there's a lot of um, infantry focused combat, which I am down for. So, infantry combat focus is more focused on this game, so I can appreciate that. And, well, I would say that overall, just the, the game running good and the more infantry focused combat is kind of a good first impression for me anyway. And I might do a more in-depth impression video, like talk about the good and the bad about this game. Because, you know, obviously it's a new game, so there's a lot to talk about. But anyways, you guys let me know how you feel about the game so far. Do you think it's, you know, it shows promise it, that it's good or do you think it's bad? You guys let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys next time. Laters.